Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, we will be getting into the first real level two rescue exercise. And it's going to be rescuing your casualty from his chest ascender. Let's get into it. The first real challenge that you meet in this exercise is that you do not get to use your own set of ropes like in the level one descending rescue. I have to use my casualties ropes to climb up and past him. How do you do that? You switch ropes. So the main rope from my casualty became my backup line. He has his chest ascender here and my backup is underneath that. This is my casualties backup device and I'm in my chest ascender underneath that. That way we get some separation between us and it makes it easier to climb up and pass them. First thing I have to do is change over into my descender to start passing him. I've changed into my descender, climbed up a little bit, and now I need to start passing his chest ascender. We are going to treat this exactly the same as passing a set of knots. And like I showed you in the video that you can watch up here, the easiest way is get a second backup device, put it on top, so you can take your old one off. If you would not have a second backup device, you can do the same thing I've also shown you in that video. You tie a butterfly knot underneath your backup device, take your cow tail, and pass the knot. Or you take a second backup device, Put it above the casualties chest ascender and now I've passed my casualty. I climb up a little bit more. And now I can start making connections. I have my knees in between us, so there's some separation, which makes things more clear. So I can immediately see that this rope has gotten in between us, and I will solve that in a minute. First thing, first thing I am going to do is make a long connection. And when I do that, I take care that there's a straight line and nothing in between anything. The rope management is all very clear. So I'd make my long connection to his top D-ring. It's a backup, so the best spot would be if he falls into it, that he lands into a straight position. I climb up a little bit more. I can take off by casualties backup device because we had the long connection already. I take my rescue set and attach it to the same point on the casualties harness as I did with the long connection. Now I take care to take the same path with the short connection as I have done with the long connection. So nothing in between. And I go into my carabiner of my descender. If I lower the casualty onto me, he will not be onto me, but we will both be into the ID. I can climb up a little bit more and then I'll do some rope management because right now it's twisted. Here we go. So, what did I just do? I climbed up as high as I could that the short connection or the rescue set is full tension. That means if I kick him out of his chest ascender that it's only gonna be a little bit lowering for me to do with the casualty. If this would be horizontal and I take him out of his chest ascender, I would have to lower him quite far, which could pose a problem. We don't want problems, so we prevent those. So what I do, I climb up as high as possible. There's tension here, and now I only have to lower him probably about this much. 
Like all things rope access, there's multiple ways of doing this rescue. And I will show you the most basic one. I will only use the kit that we have with us, nothing extra. I'm going to use my own foot loop to counterbalance him out of his chest ascender. So I take my handle descender, put it on his rope above his chest ascender. I take my foot loop, I make it a little bit longer. I will strop this into his top D-ring. And thread it through the carabiner. Now I have to gauge how high I can put this chest ascender. If I put it all the way up, I won't be able to put my foot in because the foot loop will be too high. So I go a little bit down and now I have about this much, this much space that I can lift him up. I will only lead about two centimeters probably. So I go down a little bit more and now I'm ready to kick him out. I put my foot in the foot loop. Now I feel it's quite low so I'm going to Make it a little bit higher, so this feels like a good uh, measurement. I check my system, so I have locked carabiner, locked carabiner, locked carabiner, long connection, everything is locked, ASAP is high. Also on lock, which might be dangerous if I forget it, but I won't. And before I kick him out, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to always be notified of new videos. Are you ready? So let's do this. I'm going to stand up in the foot loop with my full weight in it. And then you will see that it's a real, it's a fine balancing act, but it doesn't cost me any necessary strength. I stand up, put my full weight in it, and now it's going to be a slight lift and open the chest to center and I can take out the rope. Standing like this does not cost me that much force or strength. So full weight is in the foot loop. I lift, open the chest ascender, take out the rope, close it. I am still very well balanced. It's my full weight supporting his full weight. I look for the foot loop, pinch it as tight as I can and slowly raise my foot. By pinching it here, it gives me just a little bit more friction so I can lower him fully in control. Take my foot out of the foot loop, do my rope management, and I see that everything is clear. Now, before I clean up all this, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. As you can see behind me, we're in a beautiful training center and it's called Industrieel Klimme. It's situated in, ne in the Netherlands, just north of Amsterdam. Industrial Klimmer provides all kinds of working at heights and safety related trainings. You can come here for your IRATA training, your full GWO suite, your basic working at height, rope rescue training for fire departments and anything in between. If you need any advice on gear or procedures you need for your company, you can con contact them through the website and they will give you all the advice you need. There's a beautiful store next door where you can come in and try all the latest gear and if you're not able to make it in person you can always visit the website link will be in the description so to finish off this movement i will check my system again i have a locked carabiner here my rescue set both carabiners are locked and the long connection also is also still locked i take out the foot loop put it back on my ascender clear up my system don't forget to unlock the ASAP get my friction carabiner 
lock it off, check the ASAP that it's running freely, and I'm ready to descend. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay connected. Peace out.